is at the line. He's missed one today. He's shooting one and one. And he's an 80% free throw shooter. 80%. UAB leads by two. Down when you see every the question becomes, let's see now if it's if it's a three-point game. The old strategy then of what do you do if you're UAB to you foul or not? Remember, I mentioned it a second ago. They have 14 fouls. They should be fouling all over the place when this gets close. There you go. There's there it one. Is. There's one. Okay, and they have one more to give. Before they even get the bonus is, is really not a factor because they want normally when this occurs burn down the stretch you're fouling to put them at the line right so now these guys can do this two more times with five team fouls so the entry pass make sure you, a guy doesn't catch it and go real fast with it though 7.5 to go just foul him when he turns around oh they missed him jumper for three no tip oh my gosh i think it was tipped in by a UAB player. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna really matter but though. Four tenths of a second left. See now, when Niang had his back turned with the basketball, right, facing away. And if you look at it right there, right? Now he's, you stop it there, you look at him, he's got his back to the basket. So I don't want to foul him right there, but as soon as he makes any kind of move, now you foul him. And they miss it, and look what happens. Long comes across, and anybody who's a UAB fan is thinking, my goodness, how did they let that occur? And they did credit Morris with the basket. So they get a great look, and I mean a great look from a guy who shoots 40% from the three-point stripe. Ball goes in. Now all you have to do is really touch the basketball if you are UAB on this inbound. They did put three tenths of a second. Additionally, okay, that's back different. in the clock. All right. Point seven. A three seed against a 14. Amazing. And you're going to look back, and Yang did not have a good game. The star player for Iowa State, but... Offensive rebounding, in my mind, Byrne is just yeah. a, was just huge for these guys. Now they've uh, changed it back, Jim. Yep, the four. To four. You know, for all intents and purposes, if this ball gets in and just touches a UAV player, just catch it and hold on to it. He throws it. There's deep. the throw. Just a touch. There you go. Why they call it March Madness? It sure is. It's a great way to start the day here. The Notre Dame the game earlier, a close game. Looks like we're ready for a good Thursday and Friday, my I, friend. I think, <laughs> I think you're oh, right. That was a good finish. That was a good finish, and UAB did everything they needed to do to win this game. Jared Hass is in his third year as the head coach at UAB. Long time assistant to Roy Williams. Well, it happened last year when Mercer defeated Duke. We get the tournament started this year with UAB at 14, defeating Iowa State a three. You said the key was offensive rebound. You know, offensive rebounding, Vern, when a team has trouble shooting the basketball, you go, you go. You're not expecting your guys to, but it's just energy. It's wanting it. It's the NCAA tournament. And look at these guys. Lee just turns, uses his height, as I said a moment ago, and shoots the basketball. I mean, UAB executed perfectly at both ends of the floor. Let's go to Alley. 
Coach, this is a team that started the season losing its exhibition game. Now you have the first tournament win since 2005. How proud are you of the progress that this team has made? Uh, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how proud I am of our guys. And uh, we played great. Iowa State missed some shots. And uh, we played extremely hard. And to say that, I mean, uh, pride, is, pride is the emotion right now for my, my feelings towards these guys. Absolutely. Standing to my right is Robert Brown, the star of this game. The team had missed nine consecutive three-pointers, but you had all the confidence in the world when you took the one to put you guys up one. Where does that confidence come from? Uh, Coach and the rest of my teammates, they trusted in me to take the shot. Uh, thankfully, it went in. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Allie. What a way to start the tournament here in Louisville. Tournament games continue live now on CBS, TNT, and TBS. UCLA versus SMU coming up next on True TV. And we'll be back here in Louisville after these messages.